don't know much about what happened, just what that Neuhoff stable boy told us. Get your arses mounted up and let's ride out. On the double. Maybe we'll catch up with that rabble. Can we go? Are you ready? I'm ready, Captain. Good. Then follow me. Keep quiet and do exactly as you're told. I don't know what Sir Radzik sees in you, and I don't care. If you're to ride with my men, I expect you to listen. Yes, sir. Against all better judgment, they've decided to give you your own horse. The dappled gray beside my stallion is yours. Make sure you take good care of him. Now, mount up and ride behind us. Alright, men. Saddle up! And no dawdling. The last one there won't find me a happy man. Where's your master? In... in the paddock. <sighs> Crucifix? What kind of beasts could do this? By the blood of the martyrs. <laughs> What happened here? Why? Someone came at night and hamstrung every one of them. The horses... screaming must have woke poor Radek the stable boy. And when he tried to stop them... And then my husband... When my husband tried to help them, they killed him too. And when they were done, they put a torch to the stables. My sincere condolences, ma'am. I swear we'll hunt those monsters down and make them pay for this. The horses were still alive when I came. We had to finish them off. All of them. The pain in their eyes. They couldn't understand how anyone could do this to them. Did they steal anything? Any horses? Nothing. They wanted blood, not coin. Did your husband quarrel lately? Was there anyone who might want revenge? He argued over the price of a saddle, maybe, but nothing... Nothing that could drive a man to... this. These are dark days when there's more kindness in horses than in men. Did you see anything? How many were there? Or what did they look like? We saw no one. Has anyone tried to follow the trail? No. 
We were fighting the blaze until now, and even if we weren't, what chance would any of us have against someone who could do this? A pox on it. Mount up and quarter the area. We have to find out where they went. Look for tracks and ask the folk if they saw anyone. Fuck, someone must have at least caught sight of them. Yes, yes sir. sir. What about me, Captain? What the hell use are you? You stay here. Please, let me do something. I could have a look around the area and see if they left any tracks. Well, if you must. Just don't get in anyone's way. Don't go too far and come back here when you're done. If it was for profit, at least I'd understand. But why no. kill for nothing? You can go to hell, all of you. But I'd just like to know. And I'd like to Smell, friend, the stud farm owner. I saw him in Scarlet's a few times. His poor widow. Ask. I... I can come back later if you... No. I saw you came with the soldiers, and the sooner you know everything, the sooner you'll catch those savages. I'm sorry to trouble you, ma'am, but could you tell me about the raid? The noise woke us up. Me and Smill. We thought the horses were restless, or maybe some drunk had staggered here from the inn. Do you get drunks coming here a lot? Sometimes. But not this time. My husband went out to see what was going on. Then I just heard loud voices and screaming. It's so stupid. It didn't even occur to me at first that something could have happened to Smil. I didn't find out until the morning. Did you recognize any of the voices you heard? No, but they spoke Czech, cursing like demons, even at each other. At each other? They quarreled? Yes, something must have happened. And where did you hear this noise? Everywhere. It was chaos. I don't even know how many of them there were. I mean at the very start. Do you remember where you heard the noise come from then? I don't know. I just don't know. Did you get a look at them? There's one man, huge and dressed all in black. Did you see him? No, I didn't. Who should I question about the raid? Did anyone here see anything? Ginger was sleeping in the stable. He might have seen something. Jacob, the old stable boy. He even fought with them. From what I've heard, Mark was the first one to wake. It might be a good idea to talk to him. I don't know of anyone else. Another useless soldier come to ask questions. You should have fucking been here last night. I'm not a soldier. I'm one of the survivors, from Scalitz. Huh. I see, lad. Well then, what do you need to know? What in the world happened here? The bastards attacked us. At night, a little before dawn. And how did you come by that wound? I heard someone talking, so I went to look outside. Then I saw what they'd done to the horses. I shouted at those bastards. Caught one by the cloak and started beating him. Without a weapon? With just your fists? Yeah. But he cut me pretty good, the fucker. Lucky for me the other side to come out then, so the raiders ran. All that's left is his cloak. And you've got no idea why they did it? Something must have gone wrong for them. They ran off without taking anything. There's one man in particular. Huge. Dressed all in black. Voice loud enough to crack stone. Did you see him? Who the fuck do you think half killed me? So he really was here. The bastard. Can you help me? How? You know the area. How can I figure out which way they went? Hmm. They left in a hurry. You could see if there's a fence knocked down. Or a gate. Take care now.
This one got it in the back. And there's more of them over by the main stables. How could anyone be so cruel? Poor wretch. He must have crawled here. If it was the horses they were after, there'll be even more of them by the main stables. Are you... are you well? Leave me alone. Go away. Look, I know that it's difficult, but I only need you to answer a few questions. I'm here because Sir Radzig sent me. Sir Radzig? Yes. What... what do you need to know? What actually happened here? They... they killed the animals and... <laughs> why did they kill them? Did they take anything? No. Think carefully now. How did it all start? We... We heard the animals. Their shrieks. Then Smil. He shouted. And they murdered him. You're certain it was the animals first, and then Smil? Not the other way round? I'm certain. I'd never heard a sound like that before. <laughs> now I'll never forget it. What happened after that? We ran outside and it was chaos. Animals were dying, the stables were burning, and those demons everywhere. The stables were already burning. Didn't that happen after they fled? No. It was to set the blaze when they arrived. You said they were demons? No, just vermin. Worthless human vermin. How many of them were there? Not many. There were... Just a few that came after us, but more round the back. I heard them yelling at each other. So they were yelling because of all the noise? No, something happened. They quarrelled. In the back? Where? Towards the woods. To the north. They were trying to get away. So some of them were running away and the others were fighting? Aye. For a time. Then more of us came out and we fought back, so the others fled as well. Where? Where did they run to? To the north. Into the woods. Thanks. That's all I needed to ask. Farewell. How could anyone be so cruel? How could anyone be so cruel? Such senseless brutality. Poor innocent creatures. They slaughtered horses as well as people, and yet it seems they didn't take anything. <laughs> oh no, this can't be true. Ah, this wasn't done by animals. They must have gone into the woods this way. They went deeper and deeper, for sure. They went deeper and deeper, for sure.
no. Uh, I'm not going anywhere. That bastard really got me good. How could it have gone so wrong? And who the hell brought those other fellows here? Fucking greenhorns. Won't kill that ginger brat from the farm, and then they slice you up. We'll find those bastards, and I'll send them straight to hell myself. <laughs> but I'll already be there, waiting for them. Don't talk that way. We'll get back to the camp, and they'll take care of you there. No, my friend. I'm not long for this world. Go, before someone finds us here. Don't worry about me. You know I can't leave you here. If they find you... I know. I wanted to do it myself. I don't even have the strength for that. What kind of nonsense is that? Christ's sake, what other options do I have? I won't make it to camp and you know it. You want to leave me here to die in agony? All right, then. How? How should I? Just do it quickly. I always do. You know me. Godspeed, brother. What are you doing here? Tired of life, are you? No! Here! Why, it's a hoof pick. Someone in Neuhof must know more about it. Do you know whose hoof pick this is? Ginger's. He was always bragging about it. Why do you ask? I'm just trying to get the story straight. But you won't find Ginger here anymore. He left. And you don't know where Ginger could have gone? Dunno. Ask Jakob. Do you know anything about Ginger? I followed two of the raiders and they were talking about him. But he... Because of him? Because of him they murdered us? Lord in heaven! Wait, hold on. You think Ginger was responsible for the attack? He ran off! Don't you see? He was acting so strange and then he ran off! Why the hell would he do that? That does sound rather odd. Do you know anything about this hoof pick? Yeah, it's Ginger's. He had it made in Mate. Any idea where I might find this Ginger? Well, that's the thing. He packed up and left. What? Look, I, I know how it looks. But Ginger is a fine fellow. I, I don't believe he had anything to do with the attack. Where could he have fled to? Uh, I might know, but you gotta promise me one thing. When you find him, listen to what he has to say before judging. You have my word. Sometimes the charcoal burners come to see him. You get some well with them. I think that's where he's gone. And where is that? No idea. They've always kept to themselves, you know, charcoal burners. But the forest is full of folk like that. They could be anywhere. Aye. Except these ones won't be far. If you follow the stream from the stud farm towards Rate, you'll come across one of their camps. Only... Only what? Ginger didn't go that way, though. He always went by the big road, through the woods in the direction of Ujits. But how can I find them? There's always smoke when they work. <laughs> you'll smell them before you see them. And they need to be near water. There's that too. So if I go through the woods along running water, I'll find them. Exactly. Good day to you. I think Ginger is mixed up in it somehow. Hmm. Why do you say that? The hoof pick I found on the dead bandit in the woods is his. That is fucking suspicious. 
Those bandits I found in the woods were talking about him. They mentioned him by name? Well, they said Ginger. That is suspicious, but it could be a coincidence. He disappeared right after we found those bandits in the woods, and I think I know where he went. Where? To the charcoal burners. He has friends there. We've got to find him. But if his friends really are hiding him, I doubt they'll talk to my men. You should search for him, Henry. Go, before the trail turns cold. I'll send a report to Ratai. Very well, sir. God be with you. Do you know of any charcoal burners in the region of Neuhof? As far as I know, there's some in the woods by the creek, about halfway between Neuhof and Gretchenik Mill, the one by Ratai. Thank you. Take care. God be with you. Have you seen Ginger around here? Who? A boy with ginger hair, a stable boy from Neuhof. No one from Neuhof's been here. May the Lord watch over you. If you want to ask questions, talk to me and leave the others in peace. Good day to you. Could you help me? Depends what you want, doesn't it? I'm looking for Ginger, a stable boy from Neuhof. They say he ran away and joined up with some charcoal burners he used to hang around with sometimes. Sorry, there's never been a lad called Ginger around here. You have to try somewhere else. A murder's been committed at Neuhof, and that boy likely knows who did it. It's vital I find him. There's been murder aplenty in these parts of late, but that Ginger lad really hasn't been here. There'll be a lot less murdering going on once I bring those bastards to justice. So how about helping me out? Calm down, lad. For the love of God, there's been no one like the boy you want round here. But then again, there are other charcoal burners. Try them. You might want to hurry. You're not the first to be asking about him. And the others weren't exactly a noble-looking bunch. Although they were generous with their silver. They didn't happen to say what they wanted him for? No. But they definitely didn't look like they wanted to invite him to a feast. Do you have any idea where else he could have gone? You said he was friends with the charcoal burners? Well, you'll definitely find some in the forest between Neuhof and Ujets. There's good spots around there. But that forest is huge. I could spend weeks searching. Then follow the river. That's how you found us, isn't it? Where there's charcoal burners, there's always water nearby. All right. I'll go and ask somewhere else. Farewell. God be with you. Has anyone here seen Ginger? That boy from the stud farm? Yes, that's the one. Is he around? No, he's not here. But he passed through not long ago on the way to Tarnberg. Follow the stream to the west and you'll find more charcoal burners there. God be with you. Good day, dear. I'm looking for Ginger from Neuhof. Do you know anything about him? I know him. What do you want of him? There's a few questions I need to ask him. Well, he'll have to go somewhere else to find him. He doesn't come here much. If you're hiding him here, please reconsider. It's Sir Radzig who sent me to find him. That boy's testimony could help stop more bloodshed. I understand the urgency, lad. But really, he doesn't come here. He's friends with some of the boys over by Townburg, 
And where can I find them? Head west along the river and you'll run into them. Oh, and another thing you might like to know. Other people have been sniffing around here for him. Nasty fellas. Where did they go? What did they look like? Oh, they headed off to the west. But that doesn't mean anything. And they look... Well, one of them came here and asked a lot of questions. And the other one stood off at a distance, scowling, dressed like murderers, the pair of them. Hello. Good day to you. I'm looking for Ginger, a stable boy from Neuhof. Don't know him. But they told me at the other camp that he comes to visit you. Well, they must have got themselves in a muddle. Definitely. There's no Ginger that I've ever heard of. Take care now. Good health to you, sir. I'm looking for Ginger, a stable boy from Neuhof. Then why don't you look for him at the stud farm? He was there, but now they say he's hiding amongst some charcoal burners. And where did you hear that? Anyhow, there's no one of that description here. Try asking somewhere else. I've been to the other camps and they told me I'd definitely find him here. How could they know that? They just wanted to get rid of you. I wouldn't say that. They realised I'm trying to help. Oh, aye. And how's that? That boy witnessed a murder and probably killed one of the murderers. I'm sure those cutthroats are already looking for him, and if I could find my way here, so could they. Hmm. And when they do, they won't be asking their questions as nicely as I have. Aye. Well, as it happens, they've already been here. And you're right, they weren't pleasant. It's my duty to protect these men, and I fear I won't be able if that pair come back. Well then, what are we going to do? We're going to do it my way. First you get rid of those two murdering dogs, and then I'll tell you what I know. But I don't know where to look for them. They're always wandering about here. Their hideout must be somewhere nearby. They came here from the east, across the bridge, threw their weight around, and then went back the same way. And I know of only one place in that direction. What place is that? There was a camp between here and the charcoal burners in the east. They're most likely there. We'll lead you. That's fair. I'll look for them. The words of a true man. Once you take care of them, come back and we'll talk. Take care now. So what do we do then? Sit tight and keep watch. Sooner or later that boy will turn up. We'll skewer him and that will be that. Hey, who's there? Who's there? What's that? What's going on there? Who's there? Oh. Hmm. What was that? You'll get my boy. Come on, you shit. Ugh. Good boy. That's my boy. Look what I've got. You'll love.
My respects to you. I've taken care of those two cutthroats. You don't look like you've been in a fight. If you don't believe me, go and see for yourself. All right, all right. All that matters is they've been taken care of. They're dead. So, what was it you wanted to tell me? Ginger was here, but the lads hid him away somewhere. I suppose there's no need for that anymore. He's in no danger now, is he? And nor are we. That's right. You're safe now. All right. They're hiding him nearby. A little way along the route to Ujits, there's a path to the right leading to a spring. From there, you'll find an overgrown trail to a ruined hut. Finally, some useful information. Thank you, Charcoal Burner. Farewell. Jesus, you've led me a merry dance. What do you want from me? I want to ask you a couple of questions. Why did you run off like that? Where are your cronies? And why did you kill that bandit? What? Right, one thing at a time. Why did you run off in such a hurry? B because I was afraid they'd come back and kill me. Who? Those, those bandits, of course. To get revenge on you for killing their mate? Killing? Me? I, I never killed anyone. God is my witness. I'm looking for your friends. Where are they? The charcoal burners? They're over at the... To hell with the charcoal burners. Where are your bandit mates? The, they're not my mates. They, they nearly killed me. I recognised one of them, so I thought they'd come back and... Recognised? Who was it? Talk! I d don't know his n name, only that he's from Ushets and he has a limp. What can you tell me about him? How do you know him? I saw him a few times in the tavern in Ushets, playing dice and boozing. And? I know he lives in a house on the edge of the village, but that's all I know. I never talked to him. And now tell me exactly what happened. And don't leave anything out. That's quite a long story. Don't worry, I won't get bored. All right. I woke up in the middle of the night because I needed to go for a piss. So I went out into the dark, same as usual, only... Only there was something there that shouldn't have been. At first I thought it was just a trick of the light, but it wasn't. And then it was too late. They went past and I thought they must be horse thieves. I would have yelled, only I was afraid they'd kill me. So I waited until they were out of sight and I started to sneak away, but then... Then the slaughtering started? Yes. I, I thought they'd steal the horses and ride off. That would be bad enough. But then all the killing started and flames everywhere. And, uh, it was terrible, like hell itself. And then? It, it seemed some of them didn't like it either. They started squabbling among themselves, and some of them started running back where they came from, right towards me. And I had that thing in my hand, the hoof pick. So you stabbed the first one in the belly? No, no. He ran right into me. He was running fast for a fellow with a limp. He pushed me aside and I fell on the ground. Then he told me I'd better lie low if I valued my life. And he ran off with the others. I did what he said and hid. Then the rest of the gang ran past. And then? Then, then I waited in case that limping one from Ujits came back. I didn't dare come out until I was sure. I think it was almost light. What about the others? Was there anything you noticed about them? Uh, I don't know. There, there might have been maybe eight of them, and two of them were really big. That's all I can remember. Do you know what they argued about? I didn't hear everything, but I reckon some of them were only there to steal and wanted no part in the killing. That sounds terrible. I know exactly how you feel. If only I yelled. Maybe they... <laughs> If you had, you'd most likely be dead. It probably wouldn't have done any good anyway. But still... There was nothing you could do. That's all. I've heard everything I need to hear, so I'll leave you be. Wait! What about me? Won't you help me out? Uh, perhaps I could. What would you like? I'd like to go back to the stud farm, but those cutthroats who want to kill me are still around. Will you help me? They're out of the way. I ran into them on my travels. Really? That's great, but... What? I'm afraid to go back to the farm. I ran away, and God knows what they'll think about it all. 
I don't know if they'll even want to talk to me. I could go and ask them if it's important to you. Would you? You'll definitely have their respect, the way you took care of those cutthroats. The Lord be praised. What brings you to me? My Lord, I managed to find a clue to the whereabouts of the bandits. Excellent. Bernard already told me what's been happening, but I'd like to hear it straight from the horse's mouth. The whole story, or just the gist of it, sir? It's up to you what you consider important. Well, in the end, I tracked down the stable boy who fled in fear of his life, and for good reason, too. He put me on the trail of a crofter from Ujit with a limp. And his name? The boy didn't know him by name, only by sight. But if I ask around, I'm sure folk will know who limps and keeps peculiar company. Villagers like to gossip. But what if he's not there? He could have fled, maybe even to Kuttenberg. If I don't find him in Ujits, I'll ask around. Someone will know something about him. All right. Better go to Ujits then. Find this limping footpad and get the names of the others out of him. They have to face justice for what they did. I want to see them hang. Then bring him to me in Mehoyed and I'll decide on his fate. Certainly, sir. I found Ginger. He begged me to ask if he can return, ma'am. Why should I take him back? It might be his fault I had to bury my husband. What? Why else would he flee but guilt? The men said they didn't see him in bed. He didn't have a clean conscience because he gave those murderers a signal. That's not true. He fled because one of the attackers recognised him and Ginger was afraid he'd come back and kill him. Those are just excuses. He wouldn't dare come back. But they came back the very same day. If he hadn't run, they'd have killed him and everyone else. But why would they do that? Why not? They'd already murdered several people. Why not a few more? And now I'm supposed to take him back? What if they come back for him and kill one of my daughters in the process? The cutthroats who were after him have been taken care of. And the rest have no reason to return here. And what about for revenge? I can't take him back. There's no need to fear vengeance. The bandits who were looking for Ginger are in hell, and no one else knows about him. But what if they find out somehow? <laughs> the only way they could find out would be a holy vision. Anyway, I reckon they'll have more pressing concerns than coming back here. Well, all right. Let him come back. But he'd better not do anything like that again. You can return home. It was hard work to convince them, so please don't get into trouble when you go back. Thank you. I'd like to give you something, but I've got nothing, except if you're ever travelling by way of Neuhof, stop by and I'll show you something with the horses. Yay! Yeah.